guys hi my family hi my youtube family hi my subscribers if you're not yet my subscriber and it is your first time to come here please consider subscribing today we are going to talk, i'm going to talk about things that people think when you tell them that you are kadam hmm? those people those things that people think first of all these people they always think of, of kadama that person being stupid do i have to take put put it like that like someone who has lost sense or i don't know what people think of kadama me the way they treated us at the airport hmm? that one only i told myself i will have to testify about this i'll have to tell people about this probably one day one time they might change but they always think that kadama is someone who is stupid not only airport people everywhere you go if you mention that you are kadama someone think that you do not have brains and we we have brains we can think they are not the ones that are taking us to the toilet we can think but these people are being too bad i just do not understand what exactly goes on into people's mind but i am not there to judge another thing that these people think when you tell them that you are kadama they think of you being illiterate hello guys do you know how many graduates we have kadamas chagalas and they are graduates <laughs> you people you don't know i'm not only talking about saudi arabia oman jordan kuwait qatar dubai wherever so long as it is kadama because we are all in the same basket people always think that you are being illiterate you never went to school you cannot even speak you can't exercise anything that has integrity in it they they always think that you can't reason do you know how many graduates that are there but i'm talking for my country uganda i don't know please let me know if you're not coming from uganda and you're watching this video please let me know how do those people think in your country because in my country people always think that someone who decides to be a kadama is someone who does not have opportunities in life yes you do not have opportunities in life because you did not go to school or even those that never went to school anyway in uganda it's kind of rare to find someone who has never gone even to p1 I don't even think it is even there. But if it is there, it's very low. You should not judge everyone. And even those people that never went to school, they can reason because they are they they have brains. You do not have to you are not taking them to the toilet. You do not rule their their homes. They do. So they are not stupid. People there are a lot of graduates in uganda it is because we do not have jobs you finish working i mean you finish going to school and then after that the only option you are remaining with is to probably vent or okay even if you go for that job that you that you studied for professionally that job is going to be giving you 500,000 Uganda shillings that is something like $150 and sometimes it is giving you 300,000 that is something like $80 what can a human being do with $80 you are a graduate and someone is giving you $80 $80 you have rent you have food and that is the money you have to survive on for a full month which kind of okay i'm not going to quarrel but what i'm trying to say is please do not start keeping thinking of people being so illiterate 
And another thing that people think of when you tell them that you are Kadama, they think that you are too poor. Eh? You have a very poor background, very poor, very poor people. Like, even if we are, because at least if we come for a Kadama, it's not we've come to fight for our our freedom, for finance, financial freedom. But it does not mean that you should judge us so much like that. And another thing that people think when you tell them that you are Kadama, they think of you having rural behaviors, like bad behaviors. You do not have to know how to handle things. Now, me, when I had just come here, someone would just come. They opened the fridge like this. <laughs> hey, hey, Jesus Christ. They open the fridge like this. This is the iron flat. Pass, pass, yes. This is the iron flat. You put it like this. This is a socket. You turn it on like this. And I was like... So, these people think that I came from the bush. By the way, this video is not only for our bosses, our Arabic bosses. Or I'm talking of the whole people, everyone. And then we went to the gas cooker. They were, they were showing me how to turn it on. <laughs> Blender for like the one that makes juice and all of that things for us, for it to blend. They were telling, they were showing me how to. And then I was like, so these people think that whoever comes in Shagala picture, that person does not know how to operate this. Me, the way I was, the way I was ignoring them. The washing machine. They were telling me how to, 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 to put it on. Aye. And then I was like, by the way, at the end of the day, they gave up, by the way. They saw like I could do everything. And they saw that what I don't know, I ask. Because people have so many things. Like mostly, mostly it was food. Mostly it used to be food, like those packed food, and they have brought it. I don't know how to. They, they. I don't know if it is for cooking. I don't know if it is for eating it like the way it is. I don't know. Those ones I used to ask. By the way, if you're there, and you don't know how to operate those things, you can ask. What was there that I did not know how to operate? Yeah, the bl there is this small blender machine that it is making coffee. That one I did not know how to operate it, and I used to ask. I did. I did ask, but they always think that you do not have. You don't even know how to. Ha! Someone, you touch this, and then someone be like, you do not know how to operate this. You don't know how to do this. You. Hello, I do. Me choosing to come at Shagala does not mean that I do not know everything. What I don't know. I'll ask. But I think whoever comes into Shagala's life has never seen all of those modern machine things to, that, that always operate in the house. Ha, <laughs> ah, God. But anyway, that is what I have for you guys. Tell me, you, what did you experience? Because for me, <laughs> what I experienced... Uh, but anyway, this one goes to each and every one. Please stop underestimating shagalas. Stop underestimating house helps. What I have experienced in this in this job, shagala or kadama, is the level of disrespect. Ah, it's really too much. Okay, me. Um, apart from, okay. The level of disrespect by the bosses and the fellows, like fellows, how to say, other people who are also abroad, working abroad, but they are not working as Kadama. They also disrespect you. And you find that you are even higher, better than that person, but that person is underlooking you because you are Kadama. Others, they are being 
disrespected by their family members okay for me no my family members don't but many others they are being disrespected by their friends some they don't even many i know many kadamas they are there they are in kadama job but they are not telling their friends not even their families some they don't tell some of their families because they do not want to underlook them they do not want them to disrespect them the level of disrespecting this thing is too high everyone underlooks at you but anyway my fellows my fellow shagalas just don't give up mm -mm. however this is not the end of the year it's not the end of the world it's not the end of your life keep pushing once you are dreaming that i have i will never die shagal be proud of it push yourself you will be there and by the way about my clothes i am on bathing time table <laughs> I am on a bathing timetable. You know, I have always been changing clothes, but for now, my boss, <laughs> today she was really serious. Okay, not today, it was like two days ago. She was really, really serious about me changing clothes. So, she was like, if I get sick, she's not going to take me hospi to hospital. Here, people get sick because of uh, bathing. And I don't want to get sick. So I entered a time table <laughs> and we are here smelling for each other. I don't know how long it is going to take, but it's going to take for a while. And I'm not bathing and it's really nice. Eh? No more bathing. So please be good. If you see me making videos in one cloth, 10 videos, do not get angry. Don't go into the comment section and start being rude on me. Be considerate. <laughs> oh, guys, thank you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. My name is Nalo Valetisha. And thank you so much for listening. You are the best. <laughs>